Hey there, I'm Candy with Order Your Spaces, a professional organizing company serving Mobile and Baldwin counties. Thanks for joining me on this live video today. I thought we would talk about a frustrating question that I get asked quite often uh, by clients when I enter their home. And it's this, how do I keep a space tidy once uh, I've uncluttered it and organized it? Very legit question. So there's an organizing um, misunderstanding that most people have and it's that they're one and done. They're gonna organize a space and it's gonna stay that way. And there, there is a way for it to stay that way, never buy anything ever again. <laughs> and <clears throat> nobody's gonna live that way, right? So if you just stop spending and stop purchasing and stop putting things in your home, then more than likely all your spaces will stay tidy. But we live in the world of Amazon Prime and have boxes delivered on uh, probably too regular a basis. And so we have things that are coming into our home all the time. And so we're gonna have to constantly be uncluttering and getting rid of stuff to keep our spaces tidy. But I did think today I could share two things that are really helpful to keeping a cabinet or a drawer or a closet tidy after you've spent that effort and time to get it that way. And it's not a big secret. It's just containers and labels. That simple. Containers and labels. So hang with me for a moment. You've just uh, uncluttered that bathroom drawer and you've got it looking all nice and the only thing in that drawer uh, is the things that you need and it's gonna stay that way. Well, did you categorize that drawer by putting some containers in the drawer so that maybe you could separate the toothpaste and the toothbrushes from your husband's razors from uh, your hairbrush? You see how without containers, that's three separate categories and it's gonna all get mushed up and start looking messy again. And you're gonna say, hmm, why should I even do this? All right, you need to use some containers. They do not have to be high-end containers, although those will last probably a lifetime. You can start with um, some dollar store containers and just Try those out and see how they work for you. Play around with them in your drawer. Uh, don't be limited to everything has to go a certain way. You can configure it sort of like a puzzle piece and you can configure different containers in one drawer space and make it work for you. Now you say, well, Candy, I don't have a label maker. Well, you don't have to have a label maker. You can actually buy um, Office Max, Office Depot. You can actually buy little, or Hobby Lobby, little small packets of labels for people that are not professional organizers and you don't need a hundred labels on every project like I do. You just need a few for your home. So just get them at Office Max or Hobby Lobby and you can hand write on them with a black Sharpie and stick them on your container. Now ladies, if you'll do those two things, containers and labels, your spaces have a great chance of staying more organized and more tidy. Now, um, I will say, if you cultivate the habit in your family and you be the example of putting things back instead of laying them down, that will also help your space to stay tidy. Instead of just throwing something in a drawer or allowing your family members just to throw something in a drawer that it doesn't go in, you cultivate the habit and you set the example and you help your family do the same of don't put it down, put it away. If everything has a home, it has a home for a reason so that the hairbrush can make its way back home. Does everyone understand where the hairbrush goes? Have you clearly got that marked in your bathroom drawer with a container and a label? So no one's gonna go in the bathroom and just start shoving things in the top drawer. I mean, it's just human nature. It's what we all would do. Pull out the top drawer, just throw it in the top drawer. But if your second cabinet happens to have, hey Carla, if your second cabinet, thanks for joining us, happens to have a container, a little small bin with a label, hairbrushes, then there's no excuses. Everyone will develop the habit of putting things back. 
Um, I love to say in my business that we help the homeowner find a home for all her belongings and then we make sure that all her belongings can find their way home. And that is one of the keys to staying successful and keeping things tidy when you've worked really hard to get them tidy. Now, another thing I wanna share with you before I let you go today is if you're thinking of spring decluttering, start small. Don't start with your big, huge kitchen that has 30 cabinets and drawers, okay? Think bathroom, think linen closet, think shoes, start small. And the reason I say that is because you need to have successes. And this would be with anything that we would do in life. If we start small and we have tiny successes, then it motivates us to keep going and tackle the larger jobs. So if you're thinking about tackling something this spring, I want you to tackle one cabinet or one drawer. If you've just got one crazy drawer in your kitchen, just tackle that one. More than likely, you have more than you need in that drawer and you need to let go and you need to donate. Nobody really needs 20 spatulas. We really don't. We can let go. Just keep your best. Now, as you've been listening to me today, I think you've probably been brainstorming and you're thinking, you know, I could do that. I could do some containers and labels. So I want you to leave in the comments below for me which space, which cabinet, which drawer, where could you do this right now, this week, and improve your space with very little money spent, very little time, just getting you some containers and some labels? What's the space you're thinking about? Thanks, Karen. Karen says she agrees with that. A little at a time. Yes, so we won't get overwhelmed. We get overwhelmed, ladies, because we just tackle the world. <laughs> we tackle the largest space in our house, the one that's driving us. And you know, that is the one that's just staring us in the face every day. And that's the one that's screaming for our attention. But tackling those large projects without a girlfriend, your sister, your mom, your neighbor, somebody to help you, it can be a little daunting. Okay. So start small and share with me your successes. And as always, Help order your spaces to grow this community, this online community, uh, by sharing this video or tag a friend. But by all means, engage with me on this video. Now, one little tip. Uh, if some of you are not getting all of my weekly videos, it might be because when you went to my page, order your spaces, you didn't tap that blue thumb. There's the blue, well, it's a gray thumb and you have to tap it and it has to turn blue. And if that thumb turns blue, that means you're following me and you won't miss any of my weekly videos. So double check yourself, make sure that you are following my page, that you've tapped on the thumb, thumbs up, and leave me a comment below and tell me what new space are you gonna try today's tip on? I'd love to hear from you girls. As always, thanks for joining in and look forward to our next chat together. Bye now.